Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back. You are watching for today. I was using the Nothing Was 2.0.5 stable Android 13 update, but finally, my most favorite custom ROM, Pixelverse for Nothing Phone One, has released their third beta Android 14 update. Flashing of this ROM is simple. You can follow the old video tutorial link, which is available under the video description. It's a password flashing process. You must be on the Nothing Was 2.0.5 or nothing was open beta 2.4.1 which will avoid any kind of bugs i already did the flashing today in this video we'll check out the essential things that are working in this rom or not we'll thoroughly check out the camera and the glyph features of nothing os next we'll check out the pixels os features or android 14 features over you to confirm are they are available with the working condition or not at the last i shown some main bugs of the rom with my final verdict so watch this video till the end. Now without further delay, let's get started. On a new adventure. On a new adventure. So we already did the setup and phone booted to the stock Google Pixel launcher. Now let's jump to the about device section to confirm what's new things we get here. So this is the Pixel Source version 7.1 Beta 3. It has the same Google's Android 14 new Easter egg. Android version is 14 upside down cake. Security patch is operators December 2023. Kernel version is 5.4.242, which is same like stock new stable nothing was open beta 1. Build date of this ROM is 13th of December 2023. So you got the New Year gift of 2024 with the ROM synchronized with the all the latest sources. Now let's check out the essential things are working or not. Like Wi-Fi, Wi-Fi hotspot, Bluetooth, NFC, GPS location, all are working fine. ROM supports the VONR 5G and VOLT 4G calling with the Wi-Fi calling support. Calling is working fine without any mic issues who gets the call recording feature in the call dialer and it's working. This is the only ROM which has the stock nothing was feature that is reverse wireless charging. It has the new nice animation that we will check under the clip section of the video. So everything is working tested with the device info and the sensor applications. Important features like the ear speakers, mic, display, multi-touch, all the sensors. These things are working in this ROM. Device under display fingerprint is working and it has the face unlock features too and it's working well. SafetyNet got passed so we can use all the banking applications without issue in this ROM. In the most of Android 14 ROM, device play protect has issues but in this ROM it's certified. On screen, hey Google voice activation is working too. Now it's time to thoroughly check out the camera application. ROM comes with the latest Nothing Was camera from the Nothing Was Open Beta 1. Its version is 12.0.1. Video recording is working with the 4K 30 and the 180p 60fps. All the ultra wide camera angle modes are working. Auto HDR is working. Video stabilization is also available and working very good. Portrait mode for the main camera is working but still it has a bad background blur which is not good as compared to not to its video comparison is given under the video description time lapse video recording is working panorama mode is working macro photos is working export mode is also working and it has lots of settings to explore motion photos are working after taking pics in the gallery who gets the motion icon on the top of the photos we can check out the motion effect of the photos using that icon 50 megapixel photos are also working good. There are some bugs related to the camera that we will discuss under the bug section of this video. Now let's check out the glyph features under the quest panel who gets the glyph torch style. Under the glyph setting who gets the glyph brightness control. Caller animation for incoming call is available. There are a bunch of animation presets available here but actually they are not showing the glyph preview on the back of LED panel. It's working but it's not showing any kind of animation when checking the presets. But while actually incoming call, it works and showing the same glyph presets animation that we just selected. Similarly, lots of notification glyph presets are available but they have same kind of bug. They are not showing the animation on the back of LED panel but they are working for the actual notification when you receive any kind of notification. 
Battery charging indicator is working. River wireless charging animation toggle enables the new wireless charging animation. But this LED turns off after some time after removing the device. Otherwise, it keeps turned on continuously. Volume level indicator is also working good. It is showing the actual level of volume that do change while using the hardware buttons. Flip to glyph animation is working too. Music visualizer is available and it's showing the nice animation for the media playback. Now let's check out the features available for the Pixisoys. Pixisoys offers the theming tab where you get some different theme style presets. Who gets the chroma factor and the luminance slider control to enhance the look of your device. Pure black theme toggle is available. Alternate setting user interface is another toggle available to change the settings panel look. Under the Pixis laboratory, we get some advanced features like unlock higher FPS in the games. Unlimited photos for the Google application is available but is actually enabled by the default. Another one is the ignore window secure flag toggle is available which helps to take the screenshot of banking or, or any kind of payment application which is disabled by the Google. Accept this under the system and gesture who gets all the pixel gestures out of which my favorite are double tap on the back, one handed mode and always on fingerprint display on the lock screen. Under the app section who gets the cloner application option which help us to clone any user or the system application so you can use same application with the two different accounts in the same device. Under application our cloner application will be available under the works profile tab. Now let's quickly overview all the Android 14 features available and working in this ROM. So now we are at the point of testing the performance of the ROM. ROM has the buttery smooth performance. It has the haptic feedback for some other activities like recent panel. Haptic feedbacks are also very good in this ROM. If you compare the Geekbench performance for the single and the multi-core, we got the score of 1043 and 2771 in this ROM. For open beta 1, we got the score of 950 and 3019. For GPU graphics, OpenGL and Hulkan graphics has the scores of 1998 and 2546 respectively. While for Open Beta, these scores were 2315 and 2785. Except the single core, all the scores are higher in the Open Beta as compared to the Pixis OS. But in real life, I failed both the devices has the same level of performance and the smoothness. So now it's time to show you some minor bugs present in the ROM. Slow motion video recording is working and it does the shooting but it doesn't save the recording. We can't able to find the recording in the gallery application. Glyph flash and the camcorder lights are not working during video shooting. But we can use a glyph flash tile available under the QS panel during video shooting which will work as a flashlight for the recording. Main camera portrait shots are working but the selfie camera shooting is not possible. It's also not saves the portrait pictures taken with the selfie camera. Glyph presets are not working with the actual glyph light available on the back of the device. 
we are let us see in this bug under the glyph features timeline. Except these minor bugs, no serious bugs are found in the ROM. Camera bugs can be sorted by using the Gcam build and except that nothing is deal breaking to use this ROM as a daily driver. This is all about the review of new beta Pixis OS which is my favorite ROM because of its only ROM which has most of stock nothing was feature working. It has the best performance along with the necessary features. So that's it for today guys. Hope you liked my work. Then please do like and share this video. Subscribe our channel. Press the bell icon for the notifications of our upcoming content for nothing phone one. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Take care. Bye bye.